Hi, my name is Robert Stow. I'm the lead driving instructor for the Mini Motoring School located in Thermal, California. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to take you through a crash course on how to drive a manual transmission. Let's get rolling. What's the difference in the interior of the car for a manual transmission as opposed to an automatic? The first thing you're going to realize is the gear shifter itself. We'll actually have the ability to shift between multiple different gears, so we're going to go through which gears you want to be starting in as opposed to which gears maybe we want to be finishing in at a higher rate of speed. Now, in order to do that, the second difference we're gonna notice will actually be the fact that we have three pedals in the car as opposed to just the gas and the brake. We're gonna have our clutch pedal and this is what's going to allow us to choose between the different gears that we have, starting in first and gradually making our way up to the gear selector. In order to maneuver the vehicle through the gears as we increase or decrease our speed, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we're engaging the clutch that way we have the ability to move from one gear to the next. As you progressively push that pedal towards the floor, you're gonna realize that pressure build up under your foot until it finally starts to release and the pedal will go all the way down towards the floorboard. At which point we do have that freedom to switch from gear to gear. Now the tricky part is as you release that pedal back through that pressure point, that's when the car is going to engage the transmission to the engine that's what's going to allow us to take off and start gradually rolling as we start increasing the speed of our vehicle. As I continue to increase the speed, I'm gonna hear that engine start to wind up, hear those revs start to come up from the RPMs, and I'm typically looking for about 3,000 to 4,500 RPM before I re-engage the clutch to make my upshift to second gear. I'm gonna continue through that as my speed increases, as the engine RPM continues to increase, and you can really listen for that engine sound as you get more comfortable with your car. You won't even have to look at the RPM. You can do it strictly off engine tone. Congratulations on learning how to drive your mini manual transmission.